Prime Minister of India and members of Parliament. I am Nithil, a member from the World Bank. I am here to support international cooperation, peace and resolve conflicts between India and Pakistan regarding the Indus Water Treaty. The Indus Water Treaty is a trilateral agreement signed between India and Pakistan brokered by the World Bank over the rivers of Indus, Chenab and the Jhelum by the first Prime Minister of India, Mr. Jawaharlal Nehru and then President of Pakistan, Mr. Ayub Khan in 1960. In the Kishanganga and Rattle Hydroelectrics Project under Indus Water Treaty, India has requested the World Bank to appoint a neutral expert. Pakistan has raised objections over the design of the hidden projects in Jammu and Kashmir, saying it is not in the line with the criteria laid down under the Indus Water Treaty. So, Pakistan has sought the establishment of a code of arbitration, which is normally the logical next step in the process of resolution of the treaty. But the World Bank has decided to proceed with both these steps simultaneously. Pakistan was described as one of the world's most water-stressed countries by a report from the Asian Development Bank as three quarters of Pakistan's total agriculture land depends on the Indus River. If the government of India is co contemplating to use the Indus Water Treaty as a threat to control aggression from Pakistan, it would damage India's international reputation and Prime Minister Mr. Modi's effort to turn the populous nation into an economic powerhouse. Peace and happiness is in the need of our in today's chaotic world. India is a country which has given non-violence women to the world. Mahatma Gandhi has advocated Satyagraha instead of violence to oppose the real-time problems. India is a pride of place among the nation. It should continue to adhere to its principle of non-violence to retain peaceful relations with its neighbors. Finally, the government in questions are willing to explore ways to cooperate with technical, legal and environmental factors are secondary. I have placed concrete reasons before the esteemed people of India. I am sure parliamentarians will take inspiration from the past and build a peaceful future.